Hey guys, Blake Fleming here from BlakeTheDrummer.com. Um, just got done doing a Skype lesson with a student in San Francisco and we were talking about different rudiments and their applications and that kind of thing and we got into discussing the, the Swiss triplet. Um, and he suggested maybe I should make a video about my approach and my thinking about it. So um, here it is. The Swiss triplet, for those of you that don't know, um, is one of the, the standard 40 drum rudiments. Um, it's a three note grouping um, and the sticking is right, right, left. And it just repeats that. Right, right, left, right, right, left. Except the beginning of it is a right flam. It's right flam, right tap, left tap. Right flam, right tap, left tap. Um, now, it is called a Swiss triplet, so you can think about it um, as a triplet initially. Um, so you're thinking triplet, 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 triplet. And when we start to separate the hands to actually see what each hand is doing individually, we get this. Triplet, 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 triplet. Okay? Now, to go a bit further, um, in analyzing what each hand is doing, the right hand is playing the first two notes of the triplet, and the left hand is playing the first and the third notes of the triplet, which is, forms a shuffle pattern essentially. So the right hand by itself is triplet, 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 okay? The left hand by itself, which is on the first and the third notes of the triplet, again forms that shuffle pattern. Da 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 triple and 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 da 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 triple and 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 da. Okay. Now that's a common way to think about the Swiss triplet, is in triplet form. But just because it's a three note grouping doesn't mean that it's always going to be a triplet. We could think about it in terms of eighth notes or sixteenth notes um, as a three note grouping, say, over sixteenth notes. It would be like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. Okay, so you can think about it as triplets, you can think about it as sixteenth notes, um, and becoming aware of what the individual hands are doing um, is really, really important. Um, now, in order to get faster with the Swiss triplet, You're going to want to approach it the same way you would a double stroke roll, utilizing the rebound of the stick. Um, the Swiss triplet is essentially a double stroke roll that is displaced. Um, because if we look at each, the hands individually like we were doing before, each hand is playing a double stroke, except it's not in a linear fashion the way that a, a normal double stroke roll would be. The, the Swiss triplet is two sets of doubles that also meet and separate and meet and separate. So there's a layered quality to it, not just a linear quality to it. So in order for me to get faster with this, I'm going to start to employ the rebound the same way I would with the with the double stroke roll. Um, and I find that the, the Swiss triplet is really, really good for the timing of your hands because your hands have to be actually a, almost more accountable for the timing than they do in a double stroke roll because of the fact of it being 
layered where they land together uh, as a flam or separately where they have a more linear um, relationship. So, um, so you're going to think regular kind of reboundy double strokes. the rebound to increase your speed with that. Um, now the, the Swiss triplet also has various applications on the kit and around the kit that I like to, to use as well. And one of them is, is, you know, you could use it for fills, um, either in triplet or sixteenth note form. Uh, like this particular fill is based on uh, a 4-4 four -four bar with the accent pattern being It's an accent pattern that a lot of us are, <clears throat> are familiar with. And you can do that kind of a thing and just replace the, the first four accents with Swiss triplets. And then you can start to interject little things here and there. But, but you know, landing some flams on the toms can be a really nice effect. And just moving the Swiss triplet around can be really fun. And again, you can use that as, as like a triplet thing. It's a triplet thing. Or uh, in 16th note form. One, and up, two, and three, and four, and a. to do is say like play Swiss triplets um, in my hands on the right cymbal and snare and have my bass drum play along with the right hand. So my, my kick and my right hand are playing the first two eighth notes um, or the, the first two notes uh, of the triplet. Whether you think about it as eighth notes or eighth note triplets or sixteenth notes is kind of relative. Um, but you can kind of do some things like uh, See, after a while, I started to deviate a little bit from the the sticking pattern, but I kept the the, the first two notes of the Swiss triplet on the kick. Um, I really like that that type of a feel because it has kind of a, a perpetual forward motion to it. Um, it has kind of an African feel to it sometimes. Um, yeah, I, I find the Swiss triplet to be to be useful and and fun. Um, whether it be like in a piece of snare drum literature or again applying it around the kit. So, um, yeah, I think that about covers it. Um, so we've got different ways to think about it uh, as eighth notes, sixteenth notes, or triplets. Um, again, just because it's a three note grouping doesn't mean it has to be a triplet. Um, you could do it over sixteenth notes. Um, also, make sure to work on it left handed. If you uh, are a right handed drummer like I am, um, it's very important to work on this rudiment left hand, and I find it to be a really good um, conditioning exercise for the left hand. And like anything else, when you first start learning to do it, do it very slowly. So now it's left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right. With the first left being a left-handed flam. You get the idea. Um, so, yes, I think that about covers it. You can think about it as triplets, sixteenth notes. Um, if you separate the hands, you've got first two notes of the triplet, you've got the first and the third notes of the triplet on the left hand, the first two on the right hand, 
Um, there's applications for it around the kit. Um, yeah, that should probably give you enough to work with with that particular rudiment. So, um, again, my name is Blake Fleming. My website is blakethedrummer.com. And um, if any of you are interested in studying with me, uh, you can get in touch with me through through the internet. I'm on the web. You can find me. So, um, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye bye.